Now that we introduce a two variable function, let's go over more examples. We just did the paraboloid. Now, let's take a look at the following function. f of x and y is equal to square root of x plus y plus 1 divided by x minus 1. This is the graph of this object in 3D. What is the domain? How do we sketch the domain, everyone? First of all, let us calculate f of 3 and 2. It means that wherever you see x, you're going to use 3, and wherever you see y, you're going to substitute that by 2. This is basically square root of 3 plus 2 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1, which is square root of 6 over 2. So you can say that, hey, the point 3, 2, and square root of 6 divided by 2 is on the graph of this function. Now, Take a look at the function. You have square root and you have a denominator. First of all, the denominator down here cannot be equal to zero. And at the same time, when you have square root, the square root cannot be negative. So everything inside the square root must be positive or zero. But Algebraically speaking, the domain is the set of all ordered pairs such that, first of all, the quantity inside the radical must be more than or equal to zero, and the denominator cannot be zero. So x minus 1 cannot be zero, or x cannot be 1. But how do we visualize this? We need to go back to algebra, everyone. You have inequality, x plus y plus 1, is more than equal to zero, it means that your y is more than equals to negative x minus one. But this is nothing but a line. In that line, since you have inequality, you need to shade some part of the plane. At the same time, x is not equal to one. This is just a vertical line. So to visualize this, you can basically say that, hey, I have the line x plus y plus 1 equal to 0, which is this line here. And on the right-hand side, we shade everything. Why is that? Because on the right-hand side, you have y more than or equal to negative x minus 1. You can use 0 and 0 as the checkpoint. If you plug in 0, 0 is more than or equal to 0 minus 1. 0 is more than or equal to negative 1. So 0 and 0 is part of this shaded region. But at the same time, we have to exclude x equals to 1. So that's why you see a shaded line at x equals to 1. So what is this? This is the domain of the function. The domain of the function, as you can see, is a subset of the plane. And again, the symbol, if you don't remember it, is subset. And this guy is the plane. Next example for you, we are making it more interesting. This function has two free variables. X and Y are free or independent variables. You have X times ln of Y squared minus X. This is the behavior of this function in this space. From algebra, remember that if you have ln function, natural log function, we should be careful about the domain of natural log. Why is that? Because it's not defined for zero or negative values. When you look at the domain of natural log, it is basically 
from zero, zero is not included to positive infinity. So what does it tell us? It tells us, hey, when I look at my ln here, this quantity y squared minus x must be more than zero. Since ln of y squared minus x is defined only for positive part of y squared minus x, if you want to visualize this, this is basically part of the plane. It says x must be less than y squared. So the domain of the function is all points or their pair in x, y plane such that x is less than y squared. How do we visualize this? Well, since x is strictly less than y squared, you see dotted line here. And then, since x is less than y squared, we shade left-hand side. This portion is basically saying that, hey, x is less than y squared. And again, since you don't have any equality here, just a strictly less than, we use shaded line. y squared minus x is more than zero, which is a shaded region, which is exactly the graph of our domain. Okay, perfect. Let's take a look at this function. This function is square root of 9 minus x squared minus 1. This is the behavior of this object in 3D. This function is defined when the quantity inside the radical, which is 9 minus x squared minus y, is more than or equal to 0, or y is less than or equal to 9 minus x squared. Again, remember that since you have square root, square root can only take zero or positive values. This is from algebra, everyone. So basically, to visualize this, it, it is y equals to 9 minus x squared. So this is this parabola. This is the graph of the parabola. And since you have inequality, y is less than or equals to 9 minus x squared, you're shading the region below the curve. The domain consists of all points, x and y, such that they are below the parabola, y equals to 9 minus x squared. And the domain can be written as the set of all points, x and y, such that y is less than or equals to 9 minus x squared. And basically write this as the subset of the plane So again, the set of all x and y's points, such that the relation between x and y is y is less than or equals to 9 minus x squared. Again, it's a common mistake for students that they confuse the graph of the domain with the graph of the object. The graph of the object, as you can see here, is this object. And in two dimension, you have the graph of the domain of the function. In three dimension, we can take a look at different aspects of this object. And in 2D, we have the domain of this 
function. 